안녕하세요. LH 키친 친구분들. Today we will turn this into 곤드레 밥. This is dried Korean thistle, which is called 곤드레 in Korean. Although it is a unique Korean ingredient, luckily you can buy it on Amazon. This step is optional, but if you have enough time, soak the Korean thistle in warm water for an hour to soften it before cooking. Cook the Korean thistle in boiling water for about an hour on high. Make sure that the pot has plenty of water in it. The Korean thistle will be soft like this. So remove it from the water, then rinse it in cold water to help get rid of some of the bitter flavor. Squeeze out the water, and then cut it into half inch chunks. Wash the short grain rice, hinsa, several times. If you want to soften the rice, you can soak the washed rice in cold water for at least 30 minutes to an hour. However, I prefer a firm and chewy texture, so I will skip doing that. Drain out the water. Today, I will cook this rice in my cast iron pot, muse sot. But if you don't have one, you can also use a clay or metal pot instead. So, Put the Korean thistle in the pot along with the sesame oil, chamgirum, and the soup soy sauce, gukkanjang. Fry for about 2 minutes on medium high so that the Korean thistle gets seasoned nicely. Next, add the rice. Some people put the rice on the top or bottom of the Korean thistle separately, but I like to mix them all together because this way, the rice can get some of the great flavor from the Korean thistle. Now pour the water mul, into the pot. Once the water starts to boil, cover it and cook it for about 5 minutes on medium high. Stir the rice to help it cook evenly and not have some part to dry out. Cover it again and reduce the temperature to medium-low and then cook it for 10 more minutes. Meanwhile, let's make a delicious sauce for the rice. So combine the soy sauce, ganjang, the water, the hot pepper powder, gochugaru, the sugar, sultan, the finely chopped green onion, pa, the finely chopped red hot pepper, hongochu, the minced garlic, Tajim manil and the sesame seed, chamke. Turn off the heat and let it finish cooking for 2 more minutes. This is how to enjoy your kondure pap. So simply add the sauce to the rice as much as you want and mix everything and then enjoy. Please try this delicious kondurebab recipe someday and if you do, take some pictures and share them with me on Instagram or Facebook because I love to see your food pictures. Mm. Thank you for watching. See you soon again. Bye.